corner of the back. I came out early because I have a horrible feeling that the clocks are going to change day after tomorrow. And 60 million people get sent to bed early because I have to wake up an hour earlier the next day. It's horrible. And then there's a rush of traffic accidents. There's another cormorant. A clean duck. So I'm not a duck, I'm a mallow. It was great getting back to to logic again. That's what I was that's what I was studying in when I was in Guanai living in this tin shack. And I would write something and I'd go along to the the internet place with my USB stick and copy it and copy it onto the computer and send it off in emails to somebody hoping somebody would talk to me about it. And nobody did. And the stuff that I that I started writing got madder and madder and madder. And my money ran out. So I sold my stuff, I sold my furniture and rugs and photographs and anything I could sell. My tent, my bivvy bag. A desk eventually. Thanks. And uh, still there. And all the time I was trying to work out, trying to understand proofs and types, all this cryptic stuff in there. And by that time, I'd lost my lambda calculator because I, I lost all that that whole system in on the thirteenth of or the fifteenth of April twenty eleven. I left the computer on a bus in the bus station in Aurora.
I had it in my head that it would all come back to me if I trusted, trusted Bolivia. And I did, and I still do. But what makes it hard to understand all this logic is the lack of a, a connecting framework which shows you how the different ideas relate. And some people might try and say, oh, there's no way you can, you can relate quantified, quantified variables in, in whole. To, to anything in dependent type theory. Because they're completely different. And I suppose I suppose they are if you don't know the connection, but um, you, you're begging the question. And you might say, oh, well, they are non-constructive proofs. They are non-constructive truths. That's just, uh, that's something that's in my book, in my book. And if you don't like my book, then you can go and jump in the proverbial lake. Honestly, anyone, who's any, any logician who seriously uses the phrase, in my book, is just out of his mind, Roger Bishop Jones. You're mad. What I excerpted, excerpted from that, that dialogue we did have was, uh, the most intelligent things that you said. What I left out, well, I think you owe, you know, you owe me something for that. I didn't want to publish it because I thought maybe it's insulting. Thank Hello. Because I mean, I would be insulted if somebody published some crap that I'd written like that, but maybe it's state of the art. This whole thing's got very really negative. Sorry. They're very shy. I wonder if people harass them. Who would harass a little more? <laughs> it's 
the corner it's still in front. I need a holiday. I love that Johnny holiday story. I hope he did fly off with his girlfriend and I hope they had a great time. I'm sure she wouldn't have taken that machine down with that. I'm just thinking I wouldn't mind going to Ely and hiring a hiring a boat for a couple of days. But I suppose you have to take it back to Ely. But you could hire a boat for a couple of days, go up the river, go back to Ely, and then get on the train and go to King's Lynn and walk along the coast for a bit. And then go to Fakenham and eat fish and chips in the dark. <laughs> what a country. <laughs>